So I've always had advisors that are close to me that we can call on and say, what do we do now? Very valuable part of my experience of building my company. And one of our advisors taught us this concept called R&D. We realized we weren't the smartest guys in the room. We weren't the smartest guys in the country. We weren't, definitely weren't the smartest guys in healthcare. But we didn't have to be because everything in the world has already been done to a world-class level. We don't have to invent anything. What we have to do if we want to learn something, we go find out who has done it the best, we learn from them, we bring it back home and execute on it. We call it R&D, rip off and duplicate, right? <laughs> we don't have to invent things. We don't have to pretend we're smart. We just have to find out who has done it to a world-class level. So Ken and I realized we do not know how to build culture. We do not know where we went wrong. All of a sudden, we woke up one day and we had an office where we didn't like the people and they didn't like us either. And that's a tough spot. So we went out, we stopped our growth that summer. We said to the 15 people left, we will not hire a single other person until we figure out how to do this right the next time. So we went out to start learning and we studied what we consider to be some of the most enduringly great brands of all time that had stood the test of time. Okay, so these companies we went to study. And Disney, Starbucks, Southwest Airlines, and Toyota. And as we started to study these companies, what we noticed of these great brands, they had these amazing cultures, right? And what I mean by an amazing culture, they had their employees completely dialed in and engaged to their brand. What they stood for, who they were, where they were going. And they had it in a way that I'd never seen before. Anybody taken a flight on Southwest Airlines before? Yeah, you have, right? It's a cool experience, isn't it? It's a totally different experience. And you take a flight on Southwest Airlines and you ask yourself, what's the Kool-Aid that they feed these employees? WestJet are indeed Southwest Airlines, by the way. Like completely are indeed it and they're proud of it. So as we started to study these companies, there was obviously a link between building a great brand and, and having a, a really engaged culture. So we said, why? What's, what are these companies really share? And we, as we started to scratch below the surface of what made these cultures great, and therefore what made these brands great, all of these companies, and all of Jim Collins' good to great companies and the companies in Built to Last that he proved out to be the best, most enduringly great brands in the world, they all shared only one thing in common. They're all very different companies one thing they shared in common. And it's this concept we call vision, which is the most misunderstood word in business. And if I asked everybody in this room what vision means, you would all have some kind of idea, but you'd have different answers, and very few would be probably right. Vision is three things, and this is what these companies all shared. Number one, it was their, your core values. Your moral compass, your guiding tenet, how you do what you do. I call it the how. Number two, it's your core purpose. Why you do what you do beyond just making money, the why. And number three, Jim Collins calls it his envisioned future. We call it, and some other companies call it, the painted picture. The crystal clear, vivid description of where you are going in the future. The how, the why, the where. That's what vision is. And it's amazing when you study these great companies, that's what they had in spades. So we thought, well, this is easy. This is what these great companies who have built these great, enduringly great brands share. All we have to do is bring that back to Nurse Next Door and start rebuilding our company around this stuff. So that's what we did. We brought these three kind of airy-fairy concepts, core values, core purpose, and the painted picture, back home, and we started to execute around them. And we started to rebuild our company. And an amazing thing happened. Our goal was to become the top 10 employer within four years. We hit it in three years. We became number one in the fourth year. We went on to win the Top Culture in Canada Award. We're consistently one of the top 10 employers in the country. Um, we were named the smartest company in Canada last year by Profit Magazine. This is why, right? We win these awards and we ended up building this amazing culture all because we became so focused and crazy about building a company based on our core values and our purpose and our painted picture.